As a homeless traveler, I spread a lot of infection from place to place. There's places that you have locals who will keep the germs within their their space bubble and repeatedly touch the same thing over and over again. And I come through and I may touch that same thing, something that's been touched many, many times before me and will be touched many, many times after I leave. And I may leave bacteria behind and pick up more bacteria. I could travel hundreds of miles and really spread my disease, okay? And I don't wash very often. It's been months since I had a, a shower. And so I could transfer my diseases for hundreds of miles sometimes, depending on where I go. Because I'm just in the habit. I don't like being in the same spot for too long. It gets boring. You know, trees may have fun hanging out in the same spot, growing their roots and reaching to the sky. But I, I like to, to move around and see different things, see all the different vegetation and, and climates and structures and everything, see how it all interacts. It's all so interesting. And I make observations, simple, silly observations, like I'm now coming to the conclusion that older ladies are more likely to wear those, uh, those biker shorts with pockets as compared to younger ladies. I don't see, I see a lot of biker shorts, yoga pants. I see, I see a lot of women wearing them. I never see the young women wearing the pockets on the side of the, the leg. Uh, but the older ladies, every so often, not all old ladies, it's, it's probably like maybe 10, 5, 5% 5 of the older ladies that I've noticed still have pockets. And that may be specifically for running. I can't recall. The last the last lady I just walked by now, she she had a pocket and she was running. A lot of fit people around this area. I don't want to divulge exactly where. I'm trying to get out and explore it, but it's it gets difficult. It gets it gets really cold and it was rainy the other day. My suit my shoes just as much as I'm gluing bicycle tubes to the bottom, they're they're still soaking up water. So I'm having difficulty with that. Um, but I might try to get out today. So I've <clears throat> been having difficulty with trying to get a video to stick on YouTube. And I have to say, I respect YouTube's policies. I mean, it's not them just making their policies up out of the blue. It's them making agreements with their advertisers. So the advertisers are going to say, well, pull, you know, they'll say they'll pull their ads if YouTube doesn't conform in some good way, positive way that reflects the brand's images and all that stuff. So if, if there's going to be a threat to videos getting pulled, then I'll try to do what I can to, to alleviate that problem. And I, I am on for my other channel with um, the privacy concern. I've distorted this one video once already, but I got another privacy complaint. So I'm going to take that down, and I'm going to distort everything. You know, I it, it, I had already um, quieted the the parts that show that talk that mention the like location and and who's involved and stuff. Uh, but I also want to. Um, just distort and just make it look like people are uh, blobs. Okay, I, I I think I did that. I've I've uh, I've used Windows Media Movie Maker. That's my only video um, editing software, and so I've distorted, distorted, distorted several times this this video. So people people look more like blobs. Everything looks like blob because really, ultimately, the important part is that it the audio is working. Okay, I want that audio. I quiet the the parts that divulge uh, their location, but 
the the drama the the interaction how it went out how it played out is is really what's most important not the details so much of his motorcycle parked on the sidewalk or the details of whatever exactly the house looks like the people look like i i understand that's not really important it's what's been said that was really uh the most important part i think so i don't have any problem distorting i just i'm lazy sometimes you know when i when the in, in uh when the thing happens initially i was like i just wanted to get it out there as quick as possible i wasn't really thinking about distortion and and in my yeah, I mean, the cops are training me uh, in in my um, interviewing process. I want I want to know all the details that I find relevant, where I am, and who's who's there at the time. Okay, cops have been really training me by harass knocking on my door. You know, I want to know who they are, and I want to I want to emphasize where we're at. Okay, and I'm doing that with everybody. I, I mean, I don't see how I need to change my habits personally. Okay, I'll still. I'll still go through that interview process of finding out what I find, what I feel is relevant for, if I wanted to like press charges and get caught up in the judicial system, um, which that judicial system is just, it's just awful itself. I mean, just listening to the, the, the Trump raids on his lawyer and stuff, the judicial, they won't, I don't even know the name of the lawyer who signed off on it. They just kept saying, or not the lawyer, the judge. They just keep saying the judge, the judge from this part, the judge from this part. What I want, I want to see who that judge looks like. I want his name, and I want to see what he looks like, okay? If the judge is going to sign off on something so big, we have to know who he is, what he looks like, how he got into his position. Are all judge judges voted in, or are they appointed? A lot of them are appointed. Some are voted. So... I'd like to know, I'd like to know some background of that, you know, like the judges that judge me, the guy that's, that found me guilty for this jaywalking charge. I want to know, they don't put pictures up and they have no responsibility. They don't take responsibility for their actions. You can't find their pictures because they don't want to show them. Maybe it's a Coos County thing. Some places you could see their pictures. Okay. Especially bigger cities, smaller towns. They're trying to hide like... Uh, they'll judge you, judge against you, and then they'll they'll hide in their chambers. They don't no pictures, no nothing on the internet. The cops are that way too. That's why it's very important to record the cops, record their faces and all that, because they don't want their pictures. They're not going to personally take their pictures unless they're win winning awards. That's the only way. That's what I saw for that Las Vegas cop. I'm going on a rant about the legal system. It's just amazing how much attention the legal system brings to itself, though. It's not me, it's them. You know, they're making the charges. They're the ones stretching the law. Okay. I don't know if I really have anything else to say, honestly. Just want to work on that video, rendered it and all that, and get it uploaded for the other channel. And wait for the wait for the privacy complaints. Somebody believes that the privacy complaints can equal, equal strikes, and it's possible. You know, I'd have to see what the reason is. Like, I had this one video that did get a community strike, and that was like, it was something like, why don't all blacks get shot? And I didn't try to, like, emphasize that anybody should get shot. I was just, I was questioning it, you know. I was, I was questioning too, too sensitive of a topic. I like to try to look at things on both sides, but sometimes the topic is so sensitive, you can't look at either side. It's like... <sighs> It's like the the this this these sexual allegations and and all that. It's like, okay, why why don't we instead of why don't we get on the same page? What do you believe is is a sexual offense and all that? You know, it's, let's let's break it down. You know, is it something that gets whatever gets somebody aroused? Like these ponies, this pony art gets people aroused. Is that sexual harassment or a sexual ch uh, problem then? Yes, this. If if you read that that one book, I did a book review on um, uh, something about reefer. It's called Reefer Madness. He talks about the history of the sex sex trade and all that, and how just any kind of porn, even even bearing a, a woman's nipple, would would in a picture, and you you trying to sell that picture would get you in trouble with the law and thrown in jail. 
but then things changed to, you know up till now and now it's it's more about children and protecting children but we need, we need to we need to clearly define and, and particularly for each case too really break it down for each case you can't paint a general law for for all cases because everything is a different situation so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat I got some food I'm trying to eat more basil I think my liver might not be in the best of shape it just and my health seems good I have to admit washing my socks it's really helped I let them get dirty and nasty throughout all that rain on the coast and it might you know I have to admit you know wearing my shoes these shoes seem to make my socks gunkier faster I think I got something growing in my shoes I got another pair of, I'm, I'm working on gluing some bicycle tubes to the bottom of the pair that they have a little more air the shoes that I currently have are are more designed for colder weather all right and I want to switch it's it's cold still but I'm gonna need more airflow especially when my socks get gunky too often that, that pretty much means I need to change my socks out more often and wash them more frequently okay in drier weather I don't think it's been a as big of a problem but maybe you know maybe maybe all these years uh, letting my my dirty clothes build up behind my seat where I, I toss them before I wash them has has uh, contributed to problems that I never realized before it wasn't until this recent issue that uh, uh, did dawn on me that that really is a problem there's still uh, there still might be mild problems but not as bad as just having dirty socks you don't want to sleep next to dirty socks wear shoes that don't allow air circulation and that soak up water on the bottoms because they're they got holes in them that's not a good thing soaking up everything nasty you know you could possibly step on and a lot of dog owners let their dogs poop all over and I will step on that poop every so often it's, it's quite frustrating but yeah I want to spend more time exploring this area I really am captivated by it just there's just so many so many healthy looking people it's just incredible I, I can't I can't believe it it's it doesn't even it doesn't even seem like it's a wage issue it just it seems like there's something with uh, the environment it's that perfect blend of, of dryness and and everything that really contribute to the health and, and may culture in some way I don't know it's I haven't really figured it out I'm not really willing to pay five dollars for that museum um, I tried to offer three dollars but that wasn't enough they didn't, they didn't want to accept just that much they, didn't, they are not negotiators when it comes to museums some some museum people are, are ne will negotiate you know that because some have a, I think maybe a better attitude like they just they want people to be able to, to learn from this museum not so much we want to we need the money and we're gonna grub every cent we can or you're not gonna see it. So I've, I've negotiated with some. Um, I don't think you could ever negotiate with those people that ask in the big cities that ask for like twenty dollars. You know, try to offer them ten dollars or something. They won't take it. They get enough foot traffic I suppose that they don't need to waste time negotiating or even offering free days. They don't need to do that. That's that's their business. The museum has become their business more so than just trying to do a major promotion of, of history. Okay, so this, yeah, I'm just going to stop.